This foldable is on page 24 in your spiral. You're going to label the outsides of the flaps like this. The two that do not have the flaps are for the equal sign and the plus sign. So one flap is a Y, one's an M, one's an X, and one's a B. Under the Y flap, write dependent variable. I wrote a little more information, but the main part is that the Y stands for the dependent variable. I also just wrote like Y equals, and then I wrote changes based on X. That's the delta sign for changes. Under the M flap, write slope. I also added the um, plus and minus to remind myself that slope can be positive or negative. Under the X flap, I wrote independent variable. And the B flap is that B stands for the Y intercept. Now this page just helps you discover the slope intercept form equation and why it is as it is. So if you use the slope formula to find the equation of a line that goes through 0, 3 and has a slope of 2. So this just kind of walks you through how we get to that actual slope intercept form equation of Y equals MX plus B. So taking a look up here, it's circled in pink, slope of 2, it's going to get substituted in for M. And the formula Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, that's your slope formula, delta Y over delta X. So I put the 2 over 1 just as a little placeholder here. And then I filled in the blanks. I did Y minus 3 because this 3 right here is the, the Y in that coordinate. And the 0 is the x in the coordinate. And then um, I got to simplifying. x minus 0 is simply x. And I just rewrote this next step here. And then I'm going to go ahead and look at cross products. So this is where the 2x came from, equals y minus 3. And I want to put it in that y equals format. So I added 3 to both sides. And I got 2x plus 3 is y, or as what's written down here, y equals 2x plus 3. The 2 is that slope, and the y-intercept is the 3. That's just discovering how you get to that slope-intercept form equation. Please make sure you have the last slide copied down in your spiral.